Tonight at 5, air quality advisories across southern Wisconsin. How long this smoky haze is expected to last? Plus, extreme dry conditions could cause firework dangers as communities prepare to celebrate the 4th. How you can stay safe. And local officials are sharing a few reminders when it comes to boater safety ahead of this holiday weekend. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. And happening now, much of southern Wisconsin remains under this air quality advisory. You can see the wildfire smoke from Canada creating these hazy conditions that could make it more difficult for people to breathe. If you have to go outdoors, officials say don't stay out too long. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti tells us how long these advisories could last. Gary? Well, the advisories themselves will last into Thursday, but the question is, whether the smoke will last beyond that. Already, concerts on the square for tomorrow has been postponed to Thursday because of the uh, wildfire situation and the smoke that's in the air. As we look at the air quality advisories, all of Wisconsin remains under an air quality advisory through noon on Thursday. That runs until midnight, late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning for southeastern Minnesota, all of Iowa and all of Illinois. So we're not alone in the, uh, the situation here. You can see on visible cloud track, Look at that haze over eastern Wisconsin, southern Wisconsin. We've got the worst of the smoke right now. And with the winds being pretty light tonight, it's not going to move that smoke around very much. Rain that could possibly wash out the air, still well off to the west of us. Just barely getting into Minnesota and western Iowa right now. Might make it into southern Wisconsin late tonight. Low temperatures this morning, upper 50s to around 60 degrees. Actually pretty comfortable. Current temperatures are warming up. Uh, still close to 70 near Lake Michigan, but inland. Most areas are in the 80s. Few places in the upper 80s here in Dane County right now. 83 in Middleton, 81 degrees in Belleville, and 81 in Oregon. Otherwise, look for that haze and the smoke to continue. Skies will be mainly clear this evening. Temperatures dropping off into the upper 60s by late evening. Later on, I'll take a look at how long that smoke might last and whether there'll be any rain in the forecast that could wash out the air and at least help to break the drought. That'll be in a few minutes. That sure would help. Gary, thank you. And unfortunately, as he mentioned, the air quality advisory has forced concerts on the square to be postponed. Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra organizers say that decision was made to ensure the safety and well-being of attendees, staff, and musicians. The first show has been moved now to Thursday night, beginning at 7 instead. Local health officials say these conditions can create health risks for many of you. Our Catherine Merck shares some of the doctor's orders to stay safe with all this smoke. What's normally a beautiful view of the city of Madison's skyline from Olin Park today is more of a hazy one. The level of Air pollution, particularly from the Canadian wildfire, is quite high. It can be difficult for even people without lung or heart problems to breathe in these conditions. The risks are higher for older adults, children and teens, and people with lung problems. At SSM Health, one doctor tells us there are ways to keep yourself safe, like using air conditioning instead of opening up the windows and spending time indoors instead of outside. One piece of advice the doctors have might sound familiar from the pandemic. When the pollution levels are as high as they are right now, wearing an N95 mask can reduce the uh, number of particles that we're actually breathing in that are getting into our airways and, and at risk of getting into our lungs. Our first warn weather team is tracking the latest conditions. Make sure to download our first warn weather app to make sure you're getting the latest updates on air quality alerts. Reporting in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. And the DNR says you can make your own temporary air purifier at home. All you need is an air filter, some duct tape, and a box fan. Make sure the filter is the same size as your fan. First check the filter for the direction of airflow, then tape it to the back of the fan. Replace the air filter, they say, as needed. The poor air quality has forced closures and cancellations of other outdoor events all across southern Wisconsin. Download our Channel 3000 News 3 Now app or head to channel3000.com to see the full list. And the DNR says air quality should improve by the 4th of July, but our drought conditions bring another level of concern when it comes to fireworks over the next few days. Kyle Pazorski shares what authorities and retailers are saying ahead of the holiday. Kyle? Every year we hear the same reminder from officials about using fireworks safely, but there's some extra worry with local fire officials this year. If an injury ever occurs initially, we, we want you to call 911 immediately. A recent report by the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission found that between 2006 and 2021, there was a 25% increase in firework-related injuries. In Wisconsin, all fireworks which leave the ground are legal without a permit. The fire department is, is, has the authority to confiscate and destroy those fireworks, and the city of Madison uh, Police Department has the authority to write citations. 
With the latest drought monitors still showing Wisconsin is suffering from abnormally dry to severe drought, Sullivan says it's especially important for people to look at what's around them when celebrating our nation's independence. When they are using them around dry conditions such as dry grass or mulch, um, there there is a probability or possibility to be able to ignite or start a fire. At retailer Cornelier Fireworks, manager Chris Cornelier says, Always, you know, have fun, but do it smartly. It's part of their safety message to all customers, young and old. Everything that we sell in our store can be done in a safe manner. It just all comes down to, you know, doing it the, the correct way. They want to, uh, you know, celebrate, you know, our country. They want to spend time with their family. And, you know, fireworks is one way, one avenue that they can choose to do that. Government data shows that every year more than 18,000 fires are started by fireworks. All the more reason to be extra careful this year. Kyle, thank you. And the DNR wants to remind boaters to put safety first this 4th of July holiday weekend. Nearly 80% of fatal boating incidents involve drowning, which can happen to even the most experienced swimmers. Last year, 20 people died in boating incidents across the state. The DNR says the easiest and most important thing for people to remember is to wear those life jackets. Statistics show boaters who wear life jackets and take boater safety courses are most likely to stay safe on Wisconsin waters and as boaters right, take right. the lakes. So we're actually the Dane County right. Sheriff Marine and Trail Enforcement wants to share some reminders on boating safety. Alcohol use is the leading contributing factor in recreational boater fatalities and a leading factor in recreational boating incidents this weekend. Deputies will be on heightened alert looking for those in violation of boating yes, under the influence laws. It is easy to let the drinks get ahead of you. Um, if you think you're in trouble on that, just don't drive your boat. I'll go one step further. If, if you can't solve that problem for yourself, if you call us and not operate your boat, we will help you get back to shore without getting an OWI. In addition to having a sober boat operator, the sheriff's office also reminds boaters to ensure there are enough proper fitting life jackets for everyone on board. Have a type four throwable flotation device readily accessible, have a fire extinguisher on board and make sure the registration is current and it's also properly displayed. Next at five, the state's top elections official could soon be ousted from her post as the bipartisan commission that oversees her agency debates whether to renominate her. Political reporter Will Keneally has more. Will? Eric, elections in Wisconsin are very decentralized. In Madison, where our studios are here, the Madison City Clerk runs the local election. But the Wisconsin Elections Commission serves as a central clearinghouse for things like voting rolls, election security, and those little postcards that you get in the mail. And Commission Administrator Megan Wolf leads that agency, which she says has been a target of misinformation in the wake of the 2020 elections. Now, the agency's governing board is meeting right now to decide whether to give her another term leading the agency. All the while, Republicans who control the state Senate say that they do not have the votes to confirm her. It's important to have uh, stability in those positions. And, you know, we see this as a national trend with election officials being pressured to make certain decisions or to leave office or to be removed from office. Mike Haas there was the administrator for the WEC right before Wolf, and he was rejected by the state Senate in 2018. Now, there's a little bit of a gimmick that could happen here. Wolf's term ends by June 30th, but if the governing board doesn't appoint someone new, she can still hold on to that position in a little bit of a gray area under a current state Supreme Court precedent. If she stays, though, through that loophole, that will certainly frustrate Republicans who are calling for her to step down. Now, the commission is just now back in open session within the last few minutes, and we'll keep you updated throughout the night. All right, Will, thank you. And developing now, CBS News has obtained an audio recording that special counsel Jack Smith refers to in his indictment charging former President Donald Trump with mishandling classified documents. The recording is from a 2021 conversation Trump had at his New Jersey golf club with a book writer, publisher, and two staffers. He can be heard talking about a document he suggests was a plan from the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley. He wanted to attack Iran and what? And he he's in the papers. Oh this was done by the military and given to me. Yeah. This president, I could have been less. Yeah. Uh, no, I can't, you know, but this is yeah. Yeah. Now, Trump pleaded not guilty to the 37 charges he faces and claims the indictment is part of a political attack to keep him from returning to the White House. 
His trial for the government documents case is scheduled for August 14th, but Trump's lawyers are expected to ask to push the trial to a later date. In a closely watched case, the U.S. Supreme Court has ruled against giving state lawmakers unlimited power over federal elections, but the nation's highest court has yet to rule on other big cases this term. Natalie Brand looks at what the justices had to say about elections and the decisions still ahead. In a victory for voting rights advocates, the Supreme Court rejected a controversial legal theory that would have given state lawmakers largely free reign over federal elections. Republican lawmakers in North Carolina had pushed for the so-called independent state legislative theory, arguing they could set the rules for elections, including drawing districts, without oversight from the court. But the justices in a 6-3 to three decision disagreed, with Chief Justice John Roberts writing the Constitution's election clause does not insulate state legislatures from the ordinary exercise of state judicial review. We're going to continue to have that check, meaning other players have a role here. Secretaries of state, election administration officials, even state governors, state courts, and then also on top of all of that, the federal courts. We're still waiting for decisions on some of the biggest cases of the term involving student loan forgiveness and affirmative action. Hey, folks. The justices are weighing the fate of President Biden's student loan forgiveness program, which would relieve debt for around 43 million people. Republican attorneys general in six states challenged the program, arguing in part that the administration has overstepped its authority. <laughs> The high court is also considering the future of affirmative action in cases that could reshape the college admissions process. Before the court are lawsuits against Harvard University and the University of North Carolina, alleging the school's race-conscious admissions policies discriminated against Asian American applicants. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Washington. Another case before the court involves a Colorado web designer who refuses to build websites for same-sex couples. We well, only have a few more days to vote for Best of Madison businesses, people, things to do, and more. Just head to channel3000.com and look for this story on our homepage there. Scroll down to the bottom of the article. You can click on each category to vote. All you'll need is a valid email address to register. Make sure your votes are counted. Don't forget, you can only vote once per category, and voting ends on Friday. Coming up, Gary has more on this air quality issue and the Parkland School Resource Officer standing trial for what prosecutors are calling failed actions to stop the gunman in the 2018 mass shooting will take you to the courtroom. And later, two young Florida children are reunited with their families after they were found abandoned in a Milwaukee park. We'll have the details next hour on News 3 Now at 6. On Wall Street, strong gains in trading today across the board as the Dow surges more than 212 points. The Nasdaq jumps 220. S&P adds 50. And we'll be right back. right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes in as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. Looks even better. And I did this to my father. We were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette, 
I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you wanna do it is you wanna have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you wanna go to, you wanna look years younger, this is it. This July 4th is the best time to try Plexiderm at our startup price of only $14.95. Your solution is at plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. There's nothing better than a great night's sleep on a new mattress from Steinhoffels. Right now, save up to $900 on Beautyrest adjustable base sets. Beautyrest Queen mattresses start at only $399. And when you upgrade to a Beautyrest Black, you'll get $300 in Steinhoffels cash, plus a $100 MasterCard rewards card. Beautyrest Black Queen mattresses start at just $44 per month when you use Steinhoffels special 72-month financing. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com. Tonight on News 3 Now, some Wisconsinites are struggling to breathe. We take a closer look at how air quality could be affecting you. Then we have tips for how you can stay safe on the water this July 4th holiday. That's tonight at 6. Celebrating 40 years of concerts on the square. Join us on Thursday as we discover how this iconic event helped shape the spirit of Madison and made it an integral part of our community. 40 years, no rests. Thursday on News 3 Now at 6. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Jury deliberations enter a second day for a Parkland school resource officer who prosecutors say stayed outside and did nothing as a gunman opened fire inside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Mike Valerio explains the arguments jurors are now weighing. He was the first officer at the scene of the 2018 Parkland High School massacre. Now, five years later, in a Florida courtroom, the defense presents former school resource officer Scott Peterson as... I had a 32-year veteran, honorable, decorated, award-winning... Peterson is on trial for not confronting the Parkland gunman. He faces charges of child neglect, culpable negligence, and perjury. Prosecutors and parents arguing Peterson should be found criminally responsible. He heard the gunshots coming out of that building, and then his reaction was not to go in the building, not to look in the building, but to go and retreat and hide behind a concrete pillar for 48 minutes. The defense arguing gunfire echoed off buildings, and Peterson couldn't tell where the shots were coming from. The state countered in closing arguments that Peterson critically erred in his duties as an officer. When the defendant failed to force an outcome, he told you what his priority of life was. The trial underscores expectations of what officers should do during a mass shooting. Parkland parents hope this case sets a precedent for required action. I hope he is haunted by his inaction. Peterson's lawyer says the former deputy did, quote, everything he could that day. The only verdict that speaks justice in this case, ladies and gentlemen, is not guilty on every single count because he truly is innocent. I'm Mike Valerio reporting. Air quality advisories continue through Thursday. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti with our first warn forecast. Gary? Yeah, and three things you need to know in the forecast. Boy, it's going to stay hazy with that poor air quality continuing because of the wildfire smoke. For some people, it'll just be downright unhealthy, and they should stay out, uh, stay inside as much as possible and in uh, air conditioning where you can filter the air. But that will continue at least through Thursday. We'll have to see whether or not it extends beyond that. High temperatures, though, are going to be in the 80s, so it'll be warm outside. Uh, humidity levels won't be too high, but there'll be enough moisture to perhaps bring some chances for showers and thunderstorms beginning late tonight all the way through Saturday. The unfortunate part is that they're going to be very spotty. Uh, there'll be plenty of dry hours in there, and most areas are not going to get anywhere near the amount of rain that they need in order to uh, break the uh, the drought that we have. Air quality advisories have been expanded through most of the upper Midwest. So Michigan, uh, Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, most of Minnesota, all under air quality advisories, including all of Wisconsin. Our advisory runs through noon on Thursday. And you can see the computer model forecast for the wildfire smoke. So the first surge has kind of dropped a little bit to the south as those northerly winds brought it in. The problem is, is that high pressure is located just to our northwest. And so the winds will be very light for tonight. And eventually they'll start switching around to a more southerly direction. So guess what happens? That wildfire smoke that drifted to the south now starts working back northward. And you can see an increase in uh, coverage for tomorrow. 
uh, through much of the day tomorrow and then even into Thursday as well. Now, later on Thursday, there'll be a bit of a wind shift to the west and northwest. Will that be enough to blow all the smoke out? This is early Thursday morning, but you can see that at least through that time, we're still looking at high concentrations of smoke in the atmosphere. Rain could wash out some of the air. <laughs> Take a look at Doppler track. Everything is to our north and to our west, and it'll stay out there until probably late tonight. Even possibility for a stronger thunderstorm uh, tomorrow and Thursday. Air quality advisory through noon Thursday for all of southern Wisconsin as well as parts of neighboring states. Plan your night. Look for a low of 61 in Pine Bluff, 61 in Mount Vernon. As clouds start to move in later on, maybe a thunderstorm toward morning. Low of 60 in Middleton. Across the rest of southern Wisconsin, low of 64 in Platteville, 58 in Camp Douglas, and 57 in Watoma. For tomorrow, look for hazy sunshine. It'll be warm with a high of 83, but there will be a chance for a shower or thunderstorm in a few spots. Not an all day rain, definitely. In fact, taking a look at future track early tomorrow morning, notice the spotty nature. There might be a shower or thunderstorm west of Madison. Much of the day tomorrow will be dry, and then as we get into tomorrow night, this is around midnight, notice some scattered showers and thunderstorms working their way southeastward. Whether or not they're going to be that widespread still remains to be seen, but we'll take anything we can get. And as soon as those pass by, notice how on Thursday we're kind of back to dry weather with maybe another chance for some showers and thunder thunderstorms late in the afternoon developing to our north and to our west. Rainfall through Saturday, spotty. Some areas may pick up a half inch to a little bit more, mainly over eastern Wisconsin and down near the Illinois state line. The farther north and west you go, less than a quarter of an inch in some spots. First one, 7 to 10 day forecast. Temperatures, no doubt about that, they're going to stay warm. Upper 80s for Thursday, mid 80s for the weekend, back to upper 80s to near 90s through the 4th of July holiday. Much of next week staying dry with some thunderstorm chances perhaps from Thursday night into Friday of next week. As we check out first warrant traffic right now, here's a view of traffic around the Madison area. Pretty good. Uh, a little bit of a slowdown eastbound on the Beltline approaching I-3990 and then also west or east of the Beltline on US-12 heading toward Cambridge. Otherwise, about an 18-minute trip on the eastbound Beltline, 15 minutes going back in the westbound direction. And uh, Sun Prairie to downtown inbound, it'll take you 18 minutes. Outbound, that's a 22-minute trip, a little more of a delay on, the, on uh, East Washington Avenue, 17 minutes from from Middleton to Sauk City and 25 minutes from the Beltline to Janesville on I-3990. That's your news for now for Sworn Traffic. Gary, thank you. Advocates for a Wisconsin state budget that meets kids' needs gathered at the Capitol today. The Wisconsin Public Education Network is demanding state lawmakers and Governor Evers fix the current budget on the table to put the needs of children and public schools first. Chronic underfunding of public schools stole the equitable education that I deserved for me. The law says I have a right to attend school and have my needs met, just like anyone else. I'm here today because I need you to take action immediately to mitigate the real cost of playing political power games with people's lives. Some of their concerns with the budget deal with uh, private schools will be provided more direct in, from the state than most public schools are even allowed to spend and that the funding for students with disabilities will keep the state near the bottom of that category. Coming up, how extreme heat and weather across the U.S. could be impacting your bottom line. Stay with us. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Save on your automotive needs with 11% off at Menards. Turtle Wax Max Power Car Wash provides maximum strength cleaning. The more wash you use, the stronger the cleaning power becomes. It's just $5.99 after rebate. Get superior engine protection with Valvoline Advanced Full Synthetic Motor Oil. It promotes fuel efficiency and excellent engine cleanliness. Pick up a 5-quart jug for $22.99 after 11% rebate at Menards. Save big money at Menards. The Chevy RS family of SUVs has it all. Whether you want the 10.2-inch diagonal color touchscreen on the Chevy Blazer or extra peace of mind with Chevy Safety Assist standard on the 2023 Chevy family of SUVs. So take your pick. The choice is yours. Get 1.9% financing on select popular Chevy SUVs when you finance with GM Financial. Plus, make no monthly payments for 90 days. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. 
Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. My favorite thing about the Power Swabs is that I was actually able to take the swab and really get through some of those areas that are kind of like untreated. I felt like I, I can immediately see the results and I'm like, oh, I'm definitely starting to see the shades getting brighter and brighter or whiter and whiter. If you have yellowing between your teeth, if you have coffee or tea stains near your gum line, just snap, swab, and smile. And in each five minute application, you'll see whiter teeth. So stop whitening your smile the old fashioned way with strips and trays and start using the Power Swabs five minute solution. Well, they're whiter, they're brighter, and I feel better about my smile. And it was so easy to do. One friend was like, did you, your teeth look like really white. Did you, did you do anything to it? And I was like, I did, <laughs> I did Power Swabs. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. This 4th of July, order Power Swabs and receive up to 50% off the retail price. And as an added bonus, get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 50% off and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit Power Swabs com today you're watching news 3 now at five as the u.s continues to grapple with severe storms and excessive heat the economy is starting to feel the impact according to the national oceanic and atmospheric administration the average number of extreme weather events with billion dollar losses has skyrocketed in the last five years ivan rodriguez explains what it means for your wallet Severe storms and excessive heat continue to hammer much of the country. In the last two weeks, we've seen a dramatic increase in call volume for heat-related emergencies. And the extreme weather is taking a toll on the economy and your wallets. According to NOAA, as of June 8th, there have been nine confirmed U.S. weather and climate disaster events this year, with losses exceeding $1 billion. One industry taking a huge hit, airlines. More than 5,000 flights across the United States were delayed or canceled Monday as powerful storms ripped through parts of the country. I'm just hoping and praying we don't have to deal with it, but we're, we're ready if we do. The Federal Aviation Administration estimated the cost of airline backups to be about $33 billion in 2019. Other sectors feeling the brunt, tourism, agriculture, and construction. For consumers, the rising temperatures means higher summer utility costs. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, average electricity prices are expected to rise about 2% from last year. Flood and home insurance rates are also on the rise. Experts fear the cost of insurance will only get worse as climate change intensifies both hurricanes and extreme rain events. I'm Ivan Rodriguez reporting. And we'll have a final check of your first one forecast in just a moment. Experience an awe-inspiring event at the Duck Pond, July 2nd, starting at 6.05. After the Mallards take on the Green Bay Rockers, get ready for a one-of-a-kind drone show featuring a spectacular light show, fireworks, and music. News 3 Now is a proud sponsor of Madison Mallards Baseball. Right, a chip. <clears throat> Just taking a break. That window's a bear. Don't worry. My cousin's got a guy. <laughs> Hey, I'm not sure I can help you with the house guest, but I can help you replace this window fast. Let the experts at Feldco kickstart your summer with two-for-one windows and no interest until 2025. Plus, we'll get it done with Feldco fast. Two-for-one windows ends Friday. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. Spectrum brings us Spectrum One, where Spectrum Internet, Advanced Wi-Fi, and Unlimited Mobile come together to keep you seamlessly connected wherever you are. 
Why did you switch? With Spectrum One, we get a super fast, reliable connection. And the advanced Wi-Fi has enhanced security and privacy features that automatically block online threats. How reliable is Spectrum Mobile? It's a super reliable service coast to coast. Switch to Spectrum One and get internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and one free line of unlimited mobile. Call 1-833-685-4999. Do you suffer with pain, numbness, and tingling in the hands or feet? Commonly diagnosed as peripheral neuropathy? Are you taking drugs such as Lyrica or Gabapentin that have serious side effects and often do not relieve your symptoms? Your doctor has told you you may just have to live with the pain. Peripheral neuropathy is a result of damage to the nerves, often causing burning, weakness, pain, numbness, tingling, and the most debilitating balance problems. Our facility uses multiple therapeutic methods to help give you relief from neuropathy symptoms with no injections and no drugs. You may start seeing relief after only a few sessions. To determine if your neuropathy symptoms can be relieved, we will do a consultation to evaluate the extent of your condition. Call us today to schedule your neuropathy consultation to find out if you're a candidate for our therapy. Call today. Create your perfect room for entertaining, relaxing, and more with patio enclosures. Right now, get 25% off your sunroom. Plus, enjoy exceptional financing. Call today. Patio enclosures. What do we always say, son? Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance. They only pay for what you need. That's my boy. Stay off the freeways. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Experience an awe-inspiring event at the Duck Pond, July 2nd, starting at 6.05. After the Mallards take on the Green Bay Rockers, get ready for a one-of-a-kind drone show featuring a spectacular light show, fireworks, and music. News 3 Now is a proud sponsor of Madison Mallards Baseball. We've got a lot of news to cover tonight. The suspected murderer of four Idaho college students in court today, one day after prosecutors said they'll seek the death penalty. How authorities linked DNA from the crime scene to Koberger. That and more tonight on the CBS Evening News. Gary's back. Final check of the forecast. You know, we've had air quality alerts through the years. I don't remember it being quite like this. No, no. I mean, the, the concentrations of smoke are just incredible. Take a look. That's the live view from the WISC TV sky cam. And we kind of zoomed in there and you just see how low the visibility is because of that wildfire smoke. So that means it's making it down near the ground. Here's the live view from the Queen Bee Radio sky cam in Platteville. It's not much better in southwestern Wisconsin. <clears throat> air quality advisories continue until noon Thursday for the entire state of Wisconsin until midnight, uh, late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning for Illinois, Iowa, and Minnesota. Temperatures are warm, comfortably warm. 82 right now in Madison, 79 in Mineral Point, and 82 degrees in Janesville here in Dane County, 83 in Middleton, and 83 in Wanakee. So that's one good thing, I suppose. Yeah, hang in there, the smoke. Hang in there, folks. We're back in 30 minutes for News 3 Now at 6. CBS Evening News is next.